Hello friends, I hope you all are doing well and moving in the right direction. In this topic, we are going to learn Ramsar side weight lens of Southern Journal Council. Uh, before this video, please do watch my other videos on this topic uh, where do I explain or uh, relevant Im or important things about the weight lens or uh, the site for international importance in Ramsar Convention. Uh, in part one, I try to explain about the weight lens, important of weight lens, rule of weight lens in uh, in the globe, or how they really affect the climate change, or how they really uh, play important or crucial role to control or uh, important factor for uh, the climate change. So, in this topic, we are going to learn about Ramsar site weight lens of Southern Journal Council. Part 5. Ramsar site of Southern Journal Council. Uh, friends, Southern Journal Council comprise of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Puducherry, Tamil Nadu, and also Southern Journal Council headquarters is Chennai. Yes, friend. Uh, Southern Journal ka headquarters Chennai. Hai. And the last one, Telangana. Also here, uh, some extra information for all of you. Uh, Andaman and Nicobar Island and Lakshadweep Island not belong to any of the Journal Council, but invites to participate in meeting of other Journal Council. Yes, friend. This uh, Andaman and Nicobar Island were uh, not the part of any Journal Council or uh, as of, this is not the member of any Journal Council. But in other Journal Council, whenever a meeting will held or was held, they are as an invite invitation they come and join so uh, ramsar side wetland of andhra pradesh first one is koleru lake in dohadardo it is it is in deltas of krishna and godavari yes sir uh, this is important one it got wildlife entry status in 1999 under the wildlife protection act 1972 yes friends please do uh, uh, Google uh, or uh, just try to learn from Wikipedia and other uh, kinds of about wildlife protection because in this uh, in previous year or uh, 2022 some there uh, changes in wildlife protection at 1972. Uh, Atapaka, it is Atapaka bird sanctuary near it. So the important factor about Atapaka bird sanctuary in Kolori Lake or it is in Andhra Pradesh. Species found like grey pelicans, painted stalk, etc. Ramsar side wetland of Karnataka. The first one is Rangana Tithu World Century God Status 2022. It is Sri Ranga Patna in Mandya district, also known as Pakthi Kasi. Yes, friends. It is a river island ecosystem in Kaveri River. Uh, so, Rangana Tithu uh, World Century is near about Kaveri River. Kaveri River uh, fed up the water of Rangana Tithu World Century. World Century status got in 1940. Species found like painted stalk, common spoonbill, black headed ibis, and laser whittling duck. Yes, sir, this is an important fact. But all, just try to remember Ragna Tektu Watch Entry uh, about the, uh, it also see uh, Kasi, and uh, uh, it is uh, near about, uh, it is river 9 ecosystem in Kaveri River. Ramsar site of Kerala. Ashtamukdi Wetland, 2002. It is in Kolam district. It is gateway of backwaters in Kerala. And it uh, is in it is in octopus and palm shape. Yes, sir, ma'am. This wetland is octopus and palm shape wetland. It is also known as Astamudi Khayal. Khayal it means ma'am ma uh, backwaters or lagoon form. I will uh, in upcoming slide I try to explain uh, much more deeper about Kyle. Uh, it is also uh, known for houseboat and backwater resorts. Species found like terns, plover, cormorant, etc. Now, second Ramsar site of Kerala is Sastam Kota Lake in Dojardo. It is largest freshwater lake of Kerala. Yes, friend, this is an important fact. But all you have to remember for mostly Kerala PSCs and uh, little bit maybe ask in UPSC exam, other state examination. So, it is the largest freshwater lake of Kerala. And uh, Sastam Kota Lake is near in Sastha Lake. Uh, 
Sasta Temple, sorry, uh, is a Sasta Temple, sorry, ma'am. Monroe Island, surrounded by Kolada River, Astamudi Lake, and Sastam Kota Lake. So, uh, this is a Monroe Island, Monroe Island near about in Kerala, which is surrounded by these three rivers, uh, as you can see in this slide. Species found like pearl spot, catfish, sardines, etc. Uh, these all are the category of the fish. Uh, third Ramsar site of Kerala is Bevanan Coal Wetland, got status in 2002 Ramsar uh, site or Ramsar Convention of International Importance. It is large lake in Kerala and also longest lake of India. Yes, sir, ma'am. This is an important fact. It is largest lake of Kerala and also longest lake in India. It's fed by sources of four rivers, that is Minakshi, Achenkovil, Pampa, and Manvi Mela. There are also common uh, boat race known as, uh, in Kerala local term, Vallam Kali, also known as Nehru Trophy Boat Race. It is the second largest Ramsar site after Sudarban Wetland. Yes, sir, ma'am. This is important. Also, this is an important fact. The first uh, largest la Ramsar site it is uh, Sundarban. And the uh, largest uh, Ramsar site is Vevanan Cold Wetland. Uh, this one. This is the second largest Ramsar site. Uh, Kumarkom World Century near this wetland. So this is also important fact for all of you. Uh, Kumarkom, Kumarakom World Century is near this wetland. Species, species found like migratory birds, waterfalls, streams, prawns, etc. Uh, one important fact of Kerala that Kutanal. Kutanal, Kutanal is a rice ball of Kerala. So it is an important fact to all of you. Just try to remember Kutanal, rice ball of Kerala. Uh, the fourth one, Ramsar site of Puducherry. Till 2022, no Ramsar site for of international importance found in this union territories. So, uh, friend, this is an important one. Here are some tidbits, bits or extra knowledge for you. What is Kyle? Kyle or whatever is that in geographic term. So, Kyle in geographic term is means it is network of breakish leg winds. Uh, breakish leg winds. Uh, it is network of breakage lagoons and lakes. Kyle means backwaters. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, friends. It is lagoon separated from any bigger body by some natural barriers like corals, barrier reefs, sandbars, or it is shallow lagoon located parallel to bigger water body or a coastline. As you can see in this picture, sir, this is the sea water. As you, this is the sea water. Uh, this is surrounded by sea water, and here. This is like a sandbar, or you can say the coral leaves, or this uh, water is a, this space known as backwater. So this is a chyle, so mostly Kerala, this kind of backwaters were found. Lagoon, what is lagoon? It is a body of water that is surrounded by larger bodies of water. So just try to uh, remember or go through the words by words and sentence. You can uh, easily understand the kyles and the important things. Ramsar site wetlands of Tamil Nadu. So, uh, friends, answer, ma'am. This is an important one because Tamil Nadu have the largest Ramsar site in India or Ramsar site for international import importance. In Ramsar Convention. There are total is fourteen. So let's uh, get remember or try to learn uh, one by one. The first one is Gulf of Mannar Marine Biosphere Reserve got status in 2022. First marine biosphere reserve in South and Southeast Asia got status in 1989. So, sorry, man, this is an important fact. And maybe or might be uh, it can ask in uh, different uh, public service examination or uh, any other state examination. So, this is an important fact uh, for all of you. It is biological diversity. Biological diversity, sorry, man, here it means there are different types of, it's a hotspot hard, region. There are different types of uh, species, flora and fauna, were found. Uh, there are also coral leaves, sea grass, were found. It is between Tutti Kodi to Dhanus Kodi area. Species found, humpback whale, spinner dolphin, sperm whale, and finless propois. So, uh, friend, this is an important uh, goal for Manar because uh, uh, in a few years, EPSC asks about uh, which of the following, they are the single statement question, uh, which of the following uh, 
region have a coral reef. So they are the three options like uh, marine gulf, marine gulf of Manar, marine marine wise fellas, deep island, and Manico island. And this kind of question, their option, and uh, there is also you have to remember this one. Chitran Gugdi Bird Century 2022, also known as Chitran Gugdi Khan Moli in Kerala, uh, sorry, in Tamil Nadu. It is important bird and biodiversity area. Adjacent to Kadiram Kulam Bird Century, uh, species found like spot wild pelican, little egret, grey heron, etc. Uh, the third one, Ramsa site of Tamil Nadu, Kadiram Kulam Bird Century 2022. It is bird century uh, declared or got its status in 1989. Nesting site for different migratory species. It is also important bird area site. Species found like spot bearded pelican, oriental darken, and painted star. Yes, friends. The fourth Ramsar site of Tamil Nadu, Karikilli, bird century, 2022. Sengal Pattu district. So it is in where uh, does uh, where your curriculum works in it in Sengal Pattu district. It is also important bird area site. Species found like cormorants, egrets, grey heron, and grey pelicans. Now fifth Ramsar site of Tamil Nadu is Kutham Kullam Bird Century 2022. It is important bird and biodiversity area. It is also came under the Central Asian Flyway Zone. Uh, in the uh, flight, I tried to uh, explain this also, Central Asian Flyway Zone. It is man-made wetland. So, wetland are natural or man-made. So, this one is a Kutham Kulam Bird Century is a man-made wetland. Species found like migratory birds, flamingos, etc. So, also, uh, here is some facts for all of you. Guano. What is Guano Southern Ma'am? Uh, this is a split of birds used as fertilizer. So, the Birds skeleta or birds uh, uh, skeleta can use as a fertilizer in the field. Uh, the sixth Ramsar site of Tamil Nadu is Pali Karnai Mars Rivers Reserve Forest. So, Pali Karnai Mars Reserve Forest, those are by God's status of Ramsar site, international importance. It is freshwater mass in Koromandal Coast. Species found like glossy ibis, Korum. Cormorants, open wheel stalks. Seventh uh, Ramsar site of Tamil Nadu is Pichavaram Mangrove, 2022, got its status. Located in estuaries of Vellar and Colorian River. Species found like Great White Belly Heron, Spoon Wheel, Sandpiper. Uh, and also, uh, friends, I hope you all are aware about the mangrove. So here are, I just try to uh, just uh, in a single sentence or about the mangrove that it is a small tree or shrub grow along coastline or root in salty sediments or the soil. Tamsa site of Tamil Nadu for international importance is Point Calumore Wildlife and Bird Century 2002. It is protected area. Yes, friends. It is surrounded by Bay of Bengal, Pathi State and swampy backwaters and salt pains. Species found like blackbird antelope, jackal, monitor lizard, spoonbill, sandpiper. Uh, ninth Ramsar site of Tamil Nadu is Suchin Therur Wetland Complex. So it is a complex, means there are different types of uh, wetland which all as a make one. So it comprises of Suchidram Kulam Wetland, Therur Kulam Wetland, and Vevanur. Wetland complex. So, as you can uh, see in this slide, uh, these are uh, there are the three wetlands like Sutindram Kulam, Therul Kulam, Vevanul wetland. It is southernmost of Central Asian flyway route. Yes, sir, uh, friend, like uh, as you can see, this is Indian. Mem. So, here is the southernmost of the uh, wetland or uh, Central Asian flyway, flyway route. Important, it is also important bird area site. Species found like spot wheeled pelicans, cattle egrets, Brahmani kite, and cinnamon bittern. Now, 10th Ramsar site of Tamil Nadu for international importance is Udaya Martandapuram, word century. It got stated in 2022. It is fed by Metul Dev through the Koryar Canal. So, Metul Dev uh, situated in uh, Kaveri River. 
So it's an important fact also, uh, friend, like uh, if they see me ask like different types of uh, dam, like Mectur dam, here is the river. So here they end the river. So Mectur dam here and which is situated Kaviri rivers, like other types of dam and the river can maybe ask. So Mectur dam in Kaviri river. Uh, species found like Oriental Darter, Black Hidden Ibis, Eurasian Vision, Northern Pintail, etc. Eleventh uh, Ramsar site of Tamil Nadu, Vaduvir, Birth Century, 2022. It is Birth Century status, status got in 1999. So, uh, Vaduvir Birth Century status, uh, or uh, it be Ramsar Convention, or got status of Ramsar Convention for international importance in 19. In 2022, but earlier it is a it is in a word century. So word century got its status in 1999. It is large irrigation tank, human made species found like waterfall, like Russian vision, and our panel of northern pintail. Twelfth Ramsar site of Tamil Nadu, Vedan Tangal, word century 2022. It is a protected area and oldest bird century of India. Yes, friends, this is an important fact. Vedantangal uh, bird century is the oldest bird century of India. Species found like pintail, gargane, common sandpiper, grey wagtail, etc. Thirteenth Ramsar site of Tamil Nadu, Elud bird century, 2022, got its status. It is human made tank. It is Central Asian flyway migratory species. Yes, friend, this is also came in the Central Asian flyway migratory uh, route or flyway zone of Central Asia. Species found like river, Indian river tern, oriental uh, darter, and painted storm. So, uh, the last and uh, uh, last Ramsar site of Tamil Nadu for international importance is Bevanur Wetland Complex 2022. It is an important bird area site. It is human made inland tank. Species found like grey pelican, Indian river tern, etc. Uh, so, uh, friends, uh, I hope you can understand the uh, total 14 Ramsar site wetlands in Tamil Nadu, which is the largest Ramsar site in, for international importance found in the state of Nadu. So, just try to uh, remember uh, the earlier wetlands like uh, 2020 and 2022. Don't try to mug up to go deeper. How can I uh, remember all those things? So, just just try to watch one and two times, and it's automatically. Uh, retain your uh, in your mind uh ramsar site wetland of telangana till 2022 no ramsar site of international importance found in this state but three wetlands of telangana listed in central list for international significance yes friend so these are three wetlands maybe or uh, in future they got the status of ramsar site in convention but these all are wetland, but not got listed in the Ramsar site convention. So they are the first one, Mandira Wildlife Sanctuary, Pakkal Lake Wildlife Sanctuary, Khapra wetland. So uh, I hope uh, you can understand. Uh, now there are the few uh, important facts, or you can say the kids about. So just remember what is Central Asian Flyway. This is an important one, uh, friends. So the what is a flyway? Uh, what is a flyway? It's a geographical region where single or group of migratory species completes its annual cycle. Yes, friend. Like annual cycle from uh, from source to destination and destination to source, just keep moving in totally in a year. So that is called like breeding, staging, not breeding, and molting. So these are the uh, things which migratory species can do. Uh, the following. Uh, the halt or following the zones where they uh, complete their annual cycle like breeding, staging, non-breeding and molting. What is migration? Uh, so you can heard about the migration in the human terms and also here is a migratory or uh, fauna terms or migratory species why they migrate from place to place. So it is it is adaptation mechanisms to help from come to extreme weather adversities and unavailability of food in colder region. So friend, uh, birds or migratory species do migrate from colder to uh, cooler or warm area. Why? Because of availability of food, uh, they are extreme condition like in Siberia, cold time, they are much more extreme condition. They flow or they migrate from Indian continent or Asia or South Asia 
and much more Europe part of. So this is called migration. So us uh, total nine, uh, there are total nine migration uh, or migratory route or flyway route of uh, migratory species. Uh, one of them is Central Asian flyway or Central Asian flyway zone. It cover large area of Eurasia from Arctic region to Indian Ocean. Yes, friend, from Arctic region from Siberia to Indian Ocean. It is one nine most important flyway around the world. So Central Asian flyway is a one of the nine most flyway around the world. Central Asian flyway cover over 30 countries, including India. So this uh, Central Asian flyway covers more than 30 countries. It is covered from Russia, from Siberia to West and South Asia, Maldives to British Indian Ocean Territory. Yes, friend. So uh, here also uh, some scheme or uh, some action plan of Indian government like National Action Plan on Conver Conservation of Migratory Species, which focus on three flyway or three flyway. Mostly uh, National Action Plan on Conver Conservation is focused on three flyway, like the first one, Central Asian Flyway, uh, East Asian, Australia Asian Flyway, Asian East African Flyway. So uh, just go one by one, total uh, uh, nine uh, flyway. But uh, important, this three thing you have to go through or uh, just Google and try to learn few uh, words or a few things, few ten sentences about uh, this topic, about Central Asian Flyway or this three uh, flyway zone because it is our national action plan on conservation migratory species. So what is uh, CMS, friends? Uh, what is CMS? It is Convention on Migratory Species. Uh, so CMS means, means Convention on Migratory Species. It was signed in 1979 in Bonn, under aegis of United Nations Environment Program. So it does is an important fact for all of you must remember the CMS Convention on Migratory Species. It is entered into force 1983. So uh, friends, it's signed in 1979. After four years, it got uh, entered or forced. It is only global convention on migratory species protection and preservation. So this is only a uh, CMS talk about, only one question we talk about protection of migratory species. So uh, as you can see in this slide or in this picture, this is Central Asian flyway. Uh, this is like uh, here, you can say it is India, few parts of Europe. This here is a Siberia or Arctic part of region. Here you can see uh, some parts of uh, South Asia, South uh, West, uh, West Asia or West Southeast Asia, this part of, you can see here also some part of China. So this is the Central Asian flyway. As you can see, the world flyway zone like here, Mississippi, America, Atlantic America, Pacific America, East Atlantic, Black Sea, Mediterranean, Mediterranean, East African, West Asia, this one here, this one is a Central Asian flyway. As you can see this in a broad picture. So here it is. And uh, here is East Asian, Australia Asian flyway. So uh, uh, India got your action plan, national action uh, plan, focus on Central Asian flyway, East Asian, Australia Asian flyway, and also East African, West Asian flyway. So just try to remember this picture. Maybe when this type of question asks in mains about uh, magnetic species or other conventions. So just remember uh, these things and uh, just try to remember also this diagram. Uh, so friends, I hope you all are understood uh, this topic or if you had any queries or questions, please do comment uh, below the videos and any other things you really need, I will uh, work on that. Please do like, share, subscribe and give your valuable feedback and also have any questions, please comment below in comment box. Also for my upcoming videos. Please do like insectable demi1729 at the red gmail.com. Thank you.